10 a.m. This has been going on for a little while. <laughs> Tulip, you have the cutest little face. Tulip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chilling with my buddy. This is Finny. She's already giving me kisses. Which I love because <laughs> that's all I want right now. Huh. You give me sweet kisses, huh? Finny. You say hi? This is Panther. He decides when you get to pet him and he will hiss at you while you do it. Oh, he's a sweet boy. And mom said he is blind. But he can still see, she said. So I'm not, I'm confused. But look at that beautiful coat. <laughs> the first time Rio's ever come around to get some love from me. Yeah. He wouldn't let me pet him. Oh, Tulip. Oh. You didn't come over. You were too scared. And there's Charlie. And Flower next to me sound like a raccoon. And Skinny. And Giacomo. Panther's over there. Ticked off about something up there, but I don't know what. And then Ziggy's up there. <laughs> Whole gang's here. Yeah. Are you waiting like a good sweet baby to get pet? Uh-oh, my allergies. Well, I just came in and sat down and here's Emily. Here's Emily. I would have named you Fig. You would have been Fig. Huh? You nuzzling, baby. Oh, Spice. You trying to get out? You want to get down? What? Or did you find a nice spot in my sweatshirt? <laughs> Are you snuggling? Huh? Are you snuggling? Aww. Little Emily girl and Taffy. And I gotta get Sunny. And there's Ollie. <laughs> Oh, Ollie. Don't fight the sleep. Just go with it, baby. Are you trying to snuggle, honey? Are you trying to nuzzle in? I'm not mama. I'm sorry. I don't have the nipple you need. I don't have the milk you need. Yeah. Not sure if this one's Peggy or Paws. Yes. <laughs> She just woke up from her nap. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Kiko. I'll be there next. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paul's already playing with my shoes. And there's either Paws or Peggy. I'm not sure. <laughs> You wanna come up here with me? You wanna hop up? Hmm? You want me to hold you? Oh, why don't you? You just want pets. And I think, I don't know if this is Odin or Minerva. 
Oh, no one say look at me. <gasps> That's Odin. That's my Odin. Odin. Peek. Hi, buddy. Yes, and Paul. You guys are super lovely. Yeah. You need homes. You need to go home with somebody, huh? Sorry, it can't be me. <laughs> yeah. Paul just wants cheeks. And his butt. <laughs> yes. I don't know if your paws are Peggy. I'm not sure. Are you Peggy? I see camera. <laughs> Say hi, Paul. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi, Paul. Yes, you sweet boy. Yeah. You sweet boy. <laughs> Peggy, you've been crazed already. You've been crazed. Oh my goodness, look at this climber. Look at that climber. <laughs> you go up there with Thor? Okay. Go up there. <laughs> yeah. You say hi? You say hi? Am I getting you at all? I don't know what I'm recording. Can you say hi? <laughs> Are you hitting my camera? Are you hitting my camera? Hmm? <laughs> so cute. Odin, where are you going? Peek! Odin! <laughs> Minerva, you're up and out of bed. Look at you. Look at you. Are you feeling better? Huh? I gotta get Phoebe's out of bed now. You hear me, Phoebe? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you sweet baby. Everybody did a great job. We trimmed everybody's nails, all the kitties. Well, Except the kitten in there, but it's okay, huh, mamas, huh? Hi, honey. But all the babies got their nails trimmed. Yeah. <laughs> Is that fun, Paul? <laughs> Phoebe trying to sleep. Yeah, she trying to sleep. Whoa. <laughs> Minerva and Odin are sleeping. They're trying to get their rest. They've got colds. But they're in antibiotics, so hopefully they'll be all better soon. <laughs> and poor little Thor is trying to get all of his energy. He, he was all the way up here, and he fell all the way down into the litter box. Poor guy. Yeah, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to that purr. Yeah. Page is calm and quiet. Listen to that purr. <laughs> and then there's Kiko. Kiko Baloba. Kiko. 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 Well. <laughs> Sweet calm page who just wants to be held and loved and pet. And then Kiko. Kiko baby with all your energy. Yeah, sweet baby. Guy. I was just saying I'm so glad that all the kittens got their nails trimmed because I am all cut up and bloodied and then Kiko decides to raw dog me and just completely jump up my thigh <laughs> it hurts so bad oh my god um 
But yeah, I, it was, today is a good day to get a trim. Got pretty good there. Um, on my arms, I'm all cut up. Oh, and there's blood from Kiko. Shit. No, Kiko, you didn't know you were hurting me. It's not your fault. Huh. <laughs> You're so cute and sweet. Huh, Kiko? You saying sorry? It's all right. It's not the first bloodshed I've had today. <laughs> He's okay. It might be my last, though. Huh. Hi, Paige. Oh, are you guys going to communicate? <laughs> oh. She say hi. Say hi to Paul. Aww. You say hi to Paul? Yeah. Thor and Phoebe, now you're fighting? Come on, man. <laughs> Paul, you're being so nice. You say hi to Paige? <laughs> Aww. Yeah, you say hi to Paul? <laughs> oh, babies. Sweet Kiko. Sweet Kiko. Kiko. <laughs> you say hi. You say hi to Paul. Yeah. I'm about to leave because it's 2 o'clock. And look who's waiting for me but Ali, so... I'm gonna steal him and give him some love. Little man Ollie. Yeah. <laughs> we are getting shit done today. I got done with the cats. I'm all cut up. I need to put peroxide on myself. I should take like a peroxide bath. But, um, <laughs> or a shower, either way. Maybe I will. Um, but now I'm going to head over to my parents' house really quickly. Make sure that Mango and Malcolm are okay. Make sure the cats have their food and water is fresh. And um, just check up on them. And then later I'll do my grocery pickup. And I'm going to catch up on some TV. <laughs> because I will admit it. I'm invested in the Vanderpump Rules scandal. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I don't watch reality TV anymore, but when I heard about what happened, I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> time to get caught up. So anyway, um, my mom said I could watch the last one, and the last part three was last night, so I'm going to go over to her house and watch it, because I don't have it at my house, um, so I'll watch reality TV, so, um, <laughs> but yeah, so then I'll go do my grocery pickup, and then I'll go home. Hopefully the roofers will be gone by then. Um, they started at 7 and they've been working till like 7 p.m., which is crazy. Uh, <laughs> but they've been going so fast. So anyway, but I talked to my on-site manager at the apartment who said he'd come over and take care of that little wasp nest that's happening in my front by my front door. I was like, they're not bothering me. I'm not bothering it. I just don't want the roofers to be affected because... They're throwing like the shingles off the roof and scraping and doing stuff. And I'm just a little worried that something might happen to them. So I thought I might as well give uh, my manager a heads up. So he knows now and he said, I might not be able to stop by today, but maybe later, you know, in the week. And I'm like, that's fine. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me, but I feel good. I feel really good. I got, I feel accomplished. I did all the kittens, nails minus one baby but anyway um and uh I feel good I I feel I don't know it gives me a purpose and that's what I need because ultimately being unemployed for me really really sucks in that um, I'm too much in my head I'm an overthinker and I start to like go over things people said like 20 years ago or did and that affected me that I was like, oh, I, you know, I, I said I'm over it, but I'm not. And it's like, get through this girl. But, um, it's just, it's just tough. Like it's, I, I hate not waking up 
with a purpose, like, you know, but honestly, these cats give me a reason, like, that sounds kind of sad, but ultimately, they need to be humanized and, and loved up and taken care of, and, um, you know, so that they get comfortable so they can be adopted out. And I get to be a small part of that. And so I think that's really exciting. And it gives me so much happiness when I find out they got adopted. So, um, and she's got a lot of really great kittens right now. Just super, excuse me, super lovey and kind and sweet. And some of them are scared still. And some of them were scared in the beginning. And now they're like, I mean, Paul... Paul and his siblings did not like want to be around me. They didn't want to be around anybody. They wanted to be left alone. And that was just like, I don't know, three weeks ago or something, four weeks ago. So it's incredible to see how much these kittens adapt and grow and then they get adopted out and it's great. So it feels really good. Um, so I may not have a job. <laughs> um, and it's hard because I feel like I'm one of these people who wants to be successful in life. And I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? But at the same time, um, I'm one of these people where like the unemployed game is not really fun for me. I want to get a job that I love and I'm really holding out and um, I do get really scared and I get really depressed and get real emotional and um it's hard for me to get out of that there will be days where I just don't talk to anybody I don't leave my apartment like but it's been changing lately because I have to get out to take care of these kittens sorry I was just checking my parents mailbox um just to make sure they don't have any mail but uh yeah so that's what's going on I'm gonna go check up on their house make sure everybody's okay uh, I might not need to water the plants, but I'm going to check on them while I'm here.